Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another Assassin's Creed Origins countdown video, ladies and gentlemen. We are just 30 days away from the release of Assassin's Creed Origins. That's a month. We're a month away. So damn close. And I'm so excited for Assassin's Creed Origins. I really am. I'm surprised how excited I am, but it's great. Anyway, this video, we're counting down the number eight thing that I'm excited about in Assassin's Creed Origins, which is side activities. You all know how much I love side activities. So much. Fear of justice, everything. I, oh God, it's going to be great. Side activities. Now, the reason I'm so excited is obviously the open world's huge. That's a big thing as well. But uh, the side activities within that open world are what we're focusing on here. It looks like it's going to be the best sorts of side activities yet. The only reason it's a bit low on the top 10 list is I think there's a potential for oversaturation a bit too much there how much substance will really be within these side activities now a game that actually stood out and I think had the best sorts of side activities in terms of side missions and storylines was actually Assassin's Creed Unity with the Paris stories and I thought the London stories were a bit a bit too much a bit too forced if you will with the characters that were involved in that but this game looks like it's really taking on what Horizon Zero Dawn's done, what Witcher 3 has done, which the side activities are as important as campaign missions in the sense of the way they're presented. You know, they have cutscenes to them, they have characters that are individually put into these side activities. There's side activities that have more than one mission to them, more than one quest to them. And they have real storylines and in-game consequences and rewards to it. That's really exciting to see. It looks like there's going to be a diverse range of them. Obviously, you've just got what it looks like your general sorts of side quests. Your Egypt stories, I guess you could uh, allude it to if you're talking about uh, past games like Syndicate and Unity. And I feel like those are going to be some of the most fun you're going to have. I'm sure there's going to be some dull ones, as there always is in almost any game. Except Horizon Zero Dawn, every, every mission was pure magic. Anyway, the thing about the side activities as well is I feel like there's going to be ones that just stand out amongst the rest and have as well like multiple quests to them. As I said, I feel like those are going to be ones that you're going to be like, oh wow, I love those. And ones that have really great rewards and weapons and armor pieces and things like that to them. And that's going to be really exciting to do. You've got things like the Juno events. You've got tombs and collectibles and all those sorts of things you can do to it right these side activities are going to be so brilliant to play and just to do a lot of things obviously there's always the question of is there too much to do is it going to be oversaturated sure that's possible but I feel like being able to play these storylines is just going to add a real depth to the whole world they've built a whole country for goodness sakes I want to believe there's a lot of people and things going on within that country right so when we find these quests and these side activities I want to be able to kind of get involved with that get lost in it that's what I loved about Black Flag so much is even though there's a campaign there I enjoyed getting lost in the side activities Horizon Zero Dawn I did the exact same thing when you get close to the end of the campaign you kind of like ah oh, this is stories are getting really good and you just kind of do the last like 30% of the game non-stop you don't do any side activities because you're kind of focused on it that's what I hope happens that's what should happen I think in a good open world game because if I'm like in the last 10% of the storyline and I'm like yeah the storyline's like good I'm just gonna do side activities that's a worry so I hope it doesn't overshadow the story but it's so fun that you're gonna get lost in it at times you're gonna go six hours and you realize oh shit I haven't played a campaign mission in six hours like that's what I want to happen at least within like the middle of the game when you're starting to level up and get cool skills and you've explored a bunch of the world and you're kind of just getting addicted to that sort of thing. And then you're going to hop back into the campaign and finish that off. And then you're like, sweet, I've still got all this stuff I can do within the game. I hope there's a lot, but I hope more than anything, it's quality over quantity sort of thing, which is potentially a concern. But at the end of the day, it looks like a lot of fun. It looks like you're taking it very seriously. And the side activities look like a step in the right direction for the game. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think of the side activities down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as well, there's no ads that play on my channel or on this video. So if you feel like supporting my channel, just head over to patreon.com slash as always. Where you can enjoy bonus podcast content and exclusive perks for just $1 or more, whatever you want to do. Or if not, 
just enjoy here this ad free video content. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching, and I'll see you next time for the number seven thing I'm excited about Assassin's Creed Origins.